It's been a while since we've done one of these, so this time let's play around with cardizone. That's a drug that we can relate to at all levels of EMS. We've got ourselves a patient in atrial fibrillation with rapid ventricular response. It is at too high a rate for us to allow to go without interventions, and we have decided we're going to use cardizone instead of electrical therapy. Our treatment guidelines call for a bolus of 0.25 to 0.35 milligrams per kilogram and a maintenance infusion of 10 milligrams per hour. And for the sake of argument, we'll say the patient weighs 60 kilograms. We can see by looking at the bottle that we have 25 milligrams in 5 milliliters, and they've even done the math for us, 5 milligrams per milliliter. Let's start with the first of the two calculations we need to do, which is our bolus. And you remember from the last screen that the bolus range is from 0.25 to 0.35 milligrams per kilogram. And we're going to be conservative, so we're going to stick with that 0.25 milligram per kilogram dose. We have to multiply that 0.25 times the number of kilograms. We remember that the patient weighs 60 kilograms, so our formula is going to be 0.25 times 60, and we should be getting an answer of 15 milligrams total bolus dose. Do you remember what the concentration was on that? It was 25 milligrams in 5 milliliters, and they even did the math on the bottle, 5 milligrams per milliliter. So with a desired dose of 15 milligrams and a concentration of 5 milligrams per milliliter, 15 divided by 5 would give you 3 milliliters because you cancel out the milligrams and do the math. And there is your bolus amount. Draw up 3 milliliters and you have 15 milligrams. Here comes the more complicated part. We have to figure out our infusion, which by our orders is 10 milligrams an hour. You go to the cabinet under your ambulance and you look at your saline bags and you see that the only bag you have available is a 500 milliliter bag. And you remember the bottle has 25 milligrams in it, but we've already used 15, so we're going to crack open a second vial of cardizum. So we'll have the full 25 milligrams to play with. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is a fluid over time calculation. Hopefully you carry a pocket card that has some formulas written out on it. And if you look at fluid over time, it's the amount of fluid times 60 in order to convert into hours divided by the total time in minutes. Amount of fluid times 60 divided by total time will give you your answer in milliliters per hour, which is what we need to program into the IV pump. Do we have everything we need for this calculation? Well, we do know that the hour is going to be 60 minutes, so we can put the 60 down here. Do we know the amount of fluid? Not yet. For that, we have to calculate the concentration. And when calculating concentrations, I sometimes forget, am I dividing the 500 divided by the 25 milligrams that are in that bottle of cardizum, or am I dividing the cardizum by 500? If you forget that sometimes too, remember that concentration is expressed in milligrams per milliliter, and the division sign is right there, milligrams divided by milliliters. Our calculation is going to be the 25 milligrams that are in the bottle divided by 500 milliliters, and that gives you 0 0.05 milligrams per milliliter. And how many of those milliliters at 0.05 per does it take to get to 10 milligrams? 10 milligrams divided by 0 0.05 concentration will equal 200 milliliters. 
So now we know how much fluid we need to give. We need to give 200 milliliters times 60 divided by 60. Well, those cancel each other out. So we can just do that. And our answer is 200 milliliters per hour. And now we have the answer to all our math questions for our bolus. We're going to give 3 milliliters of this fluid and our maintenance infusion is 200 milliliters per hour. That's all for this time.